pumps mean happiness. And don't you feel loved when you receive a Louis Vuitton belt? Isn't it just amazing? And what about an Armani wristwatch? Does it make time better for you? Well, then you answer me this one. Does crying in a BMW get more comfortable than crying on a bicycle? Well, there's a need to cry anyways and you still feel as sad as you were feeling in a BMW. Okay, I'm not asking you to leave your lucrative jobs right now. They are surely as important as anything in your life. But they're more important for survival and not so important for your life. Do you think that money is worth losing everything for? This is what our session is about today. Everything that money cannot buy. So today you're watching this session with me, Michelle, on Skillopedia, the place to learn skills for the real world. And we are going to look at those things which money cannot buy, the priceless assets of our lives. Do you need care? All right, we all need care. Then why don't you just hire a caretaker that would take care of you almost every second of the day? Do you think that caretaker will give up his or her own personal life for you? For taking care of you, would they leave their children and their husbands behind? Okay, do you think they would care beyond the salary you've paid them for? Would they come even one day extra if you're not well? Well, take for instance, they might eat, care for you physically, but would they be able to care for you like a mother? Like the emotions of a mother with the love, the care and the personal touch? No, that can never happen and you can answer it for yourself. Even if you pay them any amount of money, but you cannot buy the personal touch of a mother and you cannot buy care. You can never buy a mother's love. In fact, even if you go broke and you do not have money to pay, the mother would still love you. But the caretaker would leave you right that moment because you cannot pay them the salary. Isn't it true? So instead of trying to buy care and trying to care for those who don't care for you, why don't you care for those people who care for you, as in your mother and your loved ones, all the people who care for you and are ready to give you their time? So my suggestion is that you care for those people who care for you and don't try to buy care because it is never possible to buy personal love and personal touch like that of a mother's. Okay, answer me this. How many rich people do you think have their partners cheating on them? Well, your answer would be many, right? You hear of so many cases and scandals on the newspaper where you hear of partners cheating on each other and you'd never hear this from a poor family. You'll obviously hear it from the people who are very rich. So do you think they could buy their partner's loyalty? No, they couldn't. The only loyalty that you can buy with money is that of a pet. Yes, that's the only loyalty you can buy. Okay, now you might be thinking about employees. You know, they hire you at their employees, their employers. Do they buy your loyalty? Well, they don't buy your loyalty, they buy your salary. So if they get another person for a lower salary, they would hire them. So they are not really buying your loyalty. So it's very important to remember that loyalty is priceless and you should stick to those people who would lose anything to have you in their life. So make sure that you do not run after loyalty and you do not run after trying to buy it from your money because you can only buy it in the form of a pet and never real loyalty. Well, the next thing that money can never buy you is a 25 hour day. Well, you heard that right. Do you know what I mean there? Well, you're a genius if you guessed it. I'm talking about time. Money can never buy you time. Okay, what about that Rolex watch that you got for about 12 or 13,000? Did it get you an extra hour in the day? Or did it make your time better? When everyone was sad, you were happier because you had that watch. Money can never buy you time. It can never get you any extra time. So should we rather not spend time on making the lives of other people better who are there for us in our times of need rather than spending all that money and splurging it on our expensive watches which can buy us nothing. So here's my take on this. 
spend time with people who care for you and who love you because you can never buy time and obviously use your time very judiciously and be punctual. You might be very rich and very smart, but in the process of becoming rich, have you been able to manage your health? Or have you lost your health because of being a workaholic? Although you have enough money to pay your bills and buy the medicines. But can this money erase what you have done to your body with those cigarettes and the alcohol and everything else that you were splurging your money on? Well, do you know that medicines have side effects that can make your health much worse? Every year there are a lot of people dying because of the side effects of medicines. So shouldn't you spend more time in your life in improving your health naturally rather than splurging money on paying hospital bills? Think about it. I'd leave you with that question. Do you remember when you were fired from your job? Do you remember when you were fired from your job for taking too many leaves? What happened after that? At the next job, were you fired again for taking too many leaves? You were not, because you had a lesson through an experience. Was this ever taught to you in a school or in a college that you should not take too many leaves at work? No, unless you were fired, you never learned it. This is the value of an experience. Even though you have a PhD degree, which you could get by paying the fee and through your merit, you can get a PhD very easily, but it can never be equal to experience. Even when you go for a job interview, they consider experience to be more important than the degrees on your CV. So you might believe that money might buy you good jobs, could buy you a lot of degrees and a great uh, you know, experience in terms of your education. But what about your life experience? That's something that money can never buy you. And you need to be successful in your job only through experience and hard work. So make sure that you spend time on experience, learning things and on working hard because I'm very sure that nothing can actually replace hard work. And if anything can, if you can buy some hard work by paying some extra money, then do let me know. Who doesn't like to sleep a little bit extra in the morning? You must have spent a huge amount on your Nikon DSLR. But did it buy you memories? You can buy the photographs too. But could you buy the memories and the moments that you spent in those pictures? Or the moments and the memories that you missed on keeping? Would you get to live again your dad's 50th birthday? Or maybe your child's first annual school function? You'll never get to live it again. So if you've missed it, you've missed it for life. And no amount of money in the world can bring that experience and those memories back to you. So I recommend that you cherish memories and not just click them on your cameras. You might attract many greedy friends as if you're a magnet, but how many true friends do you have? Those friends who would stay with you even if you lost all your money. Would money give you a happy and a warm family? Would money get you true and loyal friends? Well, if you believe that it can, then you're wrong. For many reasons, money can never buy you a happy family. And no wonder that many rich people have broken homes. Money might help support a family, which is obviously true, and that's why we are all trying to earn for our families. But the only way a family can be happy is by love, and that is bold and clear. That's why poor people have happier families and the rich people don't even know how old their children are. I'm sure that's an irony. So my dear friends, money might buy you lovers, but money cannot buy you love. Now, don't get confused with lovers and love. Obviously, you can get a lot of lovers, but you'll never get true love with money. You might get people who'd claim to be your friends for the money you have, but they would not stick to you when the time is hard. So if someone with more money arrives, they'd still go with them and leave you behind. So did money buy you love? That's my question. 
let's just ignore your Prada handbags. I know that's love, great love, because you love your Prada handbag. But for this moment, think of real love with personal touch, like the love of a mother. Money bought you people who deceived you, money bought you looks, and money bought you a lot of those things which you don't need anymore. So I think with the experience you have gained, you've learned to stick to those things that are priceless in your life. So in the end of this session, I'd like to remind you that the priceless assets of your life are love, care, memories, and your happy and warm family. So take care of this and spend more time with your family and love them even more. So thank you so much for spending your precious time on this video and I hope that you learned something very useful today and you'd like to apply it in the future. So thank you for watching this till the end. I'll see you very soon with another session on Skillopedia the place to learn skills for the real world.